copywriting, the global perspective before you start writing your marketing piece. Hello, this is Granis and Shine, Chief Marketing Officer, of Direct Business Marketing here today to talk to you about the 10 appeals of copywriting. Now, when you're writing copy, you want to make sure that you appeal to the person. And each person, uh, just like any other person, past, present, or whatever, or in the future, they have, there are 10 things that you want to appeal to when you are talking to them from a marketing perspective. Okay, so keep these in mind. Again, we're talking about the information that will be on your frontline marketing materials, all the words, the word smithing of your marketing materials, I should say, not talking about copy R-I-G-H-T, which is something totally, 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 totally different, but does work with the copy W-R-I-T-I-N-G that we're talking about today. So just to continue and recap here, we're going to formulate uh, these 10 appeals around the third dimension, or we call it third dimension marketing, okay, the physical aspect of it. So when you're writing copy, you do want to appeal to the five physical senses, the senses, the taste, the hearing, the touching, the sight, and the smell. You want to appeal to that because you want to give them a visual perspective. Many, many writers, copywriters, writers, do this all all the time, especially when they're writing graphic novels or novels or any sort of fictional materials. Writers do that, you know, those ghost writers or people writing books. But also when you're marketing from a marketing perspective, especially if you're marketing restaurant, you want to talk about the taste or the, the taste of the food and the, the smell of the food. Those are the things you want to appeal to in your marketing materials when you're writing them in order to make sure that you communicate the message that you want to communicate. If you're talking about some sort of amusement park or something for kids, you want to talk about hearing and sight, those sorts of things, but keep these five things in mind and write to these appeals. Now, we're also going to talk about what I call the fourth dimension of marketing. We are tripartite nature. We have a spirit, soul, and body. Okay, so when you're writing to the soul, you want to appeal to their mind, their will, their imagination, their emotions, and their intellect. Now, why is this important? You know what the five senses are, right? Don't have to explain those things too much in depth, but this is the part that you really want to really hone in on also. And write even more so to this, these five characteristics versus the others. Don't want to uninclude the others, the five physical senses, but this part right here, when we talk about fourth dimension marketing, you do want to make sure you write towards the mind. Now, what is the mind? The mind is the part of you that knows where you are. That's the, what the conscious part of you that knows the, the things, the surroundings, all those sorts of things, that the awareness is, okay? The will, that's your decision maker. You want to convince that decision maker to buy your product or service, okay? The imagination, you do want to paint a picture of them using your tool, your product, your service, and that will feature in with the benefits, or that factor in, I should say, with the, the features and benefits. So the, they can imagine themselves being successful, imagine themselves making more money, imagine them, their kids being happy, imagine whatever that is, that the picture you want to paint. In their mind, that will convince them f with their will to buy your product or service. The emotions, people buy the emotions. If you can get some sort of emotional reaction, or if you want to create some sort of emotional reaction from them or evoke some emotion, that is a good thing. It's not always a bad thing because they can buy, because they may be fed up, they may be tired, they may be sad, they may be happy, or whatever it may be. But you can hone in on those emotions and really buy into it, especially if there's newsworthy content, like one of the big things when people were, when we were in a recession and all these fat cats on Wall Street were making still a bunch of money, getting bonuses every quarter, but yet the, the, the layman people were, were scrambling and trying to make the money. That's an emotion you can hone in on to sell a product or service. Now, not saying that you have to hone in on someone's demise, but you definitely want to target an emotion, that dominant, that resident emotion that is there, that there's this consistently on their mind and, and giving them some sort of uh, emotional appeal. Okay. Then the intellect, that's the conscious part of you that wants to gain more knowledge. So in your marketing materials, you want to inform. You can use videos for that, frequently asked questions, or even should ask questions. So factor in these five parts of the soul when you are marketing, these fourth dimensional marketing pieces, when you're writing your marketing materials. That's very, very imperative, and it will make a difference in your marketing, okay? Download our marketing assessment and questionnaire. It's right here at directbusinessmarketing.com slash MA for marketing assessment. Here's my contact information. Feel free to contact me directly anytime at 602-369-8119.
or at granison at directtobusinessmarketing.com. Okay, thanks. Until next time. Bye.